Chad Johnson, the elder fighter at 35 years of age. He's also two inches shorter. Weighed in four, no, excuse me, 14 pounds lighter. He has a reach advantage in both the arms and the legs. These men will be fighting one another for a win that qualifies them for a contract potentially. Four fight winners are eligible. PFL narrows them down to two finalists. Our celebrity panel and the fans will weigh in and our winner appears in the 2022 PFL season. Lauren shows us it's round number one. Andrew Glenn will oversee the heavyweight action. Ready, sir. And with that, we'll start things off. Adam Koresh in the black trunks. Chad Johnson, after the handshake, ready to go in the gray. Well, I don't see this fight going the distance. Both these guys, very aggressive. Koresh, you got to watch out for his ground game as well. And Chad Johnson just loves to press forward and look for the knockout. So watch for that. Interesting movement here from Adam Koresh, giving Johnson a bunch of different looks to consider. Switching his stances, he even spun around once. Finally tosses a kick out there. Inside kick. Sneaks a little bit north. Chad Johnson acknowledges it. No harm, no foul. Kenny, unorthodox might be a term that's overused in the fight game, but uh, what we've seen from Adam Koresh so far has been unorthodox for a heavyweight striker. Yeah, absolutely, and I think it's throwing Chad off a bit. Not quite sure how to approach him, it seems. He tries the right hand in the scooping uppercut there. Misses with both. Looks like Koresh might be trying to set up a, a spinning attack. His, his hands are pretty low. He's got to be really careful in there. That's the third time he's gone high with a kick. That one at least appeared to land partially. Johnson decides he doesn't want to stand at distance anymore and pushes Koresh against the cage. Randy, what do you do when a guy is standing out of distance, spinning around, giving you different looks? How do you engage? That, that's a real problem because he's, there's nothing orthodox about that. And that most of the training that you do is with orthodox fighters. So sometimes it's really hard to figure out how to enter, how to get in to that range of exchanges. It's all about distance. And here we are at this close distance and attach, someplace I like to operate in. And, and the shorter, stronger guy with the right position can operate very well from here. But poses some interesting problems, the unorthodox style of, of Adam Koresh. Kardash is very, very, very intelligent. You can tell he has an IQ, and he's just using the rhythm. The rhythm is taking his off. Johnson is off right now. He cannot understand. You know, Kardash is very smart. He just got to take his time. He's, he's got to control his emotion a little. Adam Koresh threw a spinning elbow there uh, as his balance got compromised. Quick reminder to all the fans out there viewing, elbows not legal in PFL MMA, so he's going to have to correct that. Yeah, let's hope Adam knows that. <laughs> Koresh misses with the hook, tries a high kick once again, and there you saw it's, it's almost a default reaction. Yeah. He's hoping to catch Chad Johnson coming in, but actually doesn't want that one to land. Lolo Jones, what do you think of Adam Koresh and Chad Johnson so far? What was interesting to see so many movements of them filling them, you know, filling each other fighter out because with the heavyweights they have a lot of respect because they know one slip and it could be lethal. Absolutely. Now 90 seconds remaining in round number one. No more time to feel things out. Oh my goodness, one punch that's through the armpit and that's enough. Adam Koresh. Shows his shot and put down Chad Johnson with a precision strike. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, Sean. He waited, he looked for his opening, landed it looked like right on his eye. Brutal shot there. Adam Koresh just casually standing there watching his handiwork. Yeah. Well, he came out here, he meant business, Sean. I mean, he came out very serious. He was a little unorthodox to start, but very methodical. 
Oh, just a perfect shot that just dropped him. Just went belly down and the fight was over just, with, just off that one shot. The hammer fist to the air academic at that standpoint. Chad Johnson was finished with that one punch. This one becomes official when we get back. More heavyweight knockout action on Fubo TV. Yeah, here he has him in that turtle position. He's letting him carry his weight. He's not just trying to throw any shot. He's looking for the right shot. Went right underneath the armpit and landed it with beautiful precision. You see him kind of hesitate. He's looking for the target. He sees it and he fires. Perfect shot. And that's all it took. Chad Johnson goes belly down into the canvas. A couple of those hammer fists, really unnecessary. Chad was not going to be able to continue. Here's another angle. Boom. Just a nasty one. Excellent ground and pound there from Adam Koresh. And referee has to come in. Excellent stoppage there. A TKO win for the man from Israel. You see the doctor taking a look. Landed right on the eye. But a legal blow with the fist. Sean O'Connell has the official announcement. Referee Andrew Glenn calls a stop to this fight. 334 into the very first round. Your winner by TKO, Adam Koresh. All right. All right, Adam Koresh, victorious in his PFL debut. Uh, I want to applaud you, the accurate striking. You lined up the punch through the armpit, and it landed. When that punch landed, did you know it was enough to stop this fight? Yes. I felt it, I saw it, and I knew, I knew it got hurt, and I just uh, went with it. So it's not just about beating your opponent. It's about impressing our celebrity panel, impressing the fans. Do you think that performance was enough to earn you a PFL contract? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw. I wasn't so happy. I wanted more for myself, and I can I can I can give more. And I wanted like a different knockout. I knew I get the knockout for the first round, but I wanted differently. But that's that's the sport. That's the way it is. Very high standards for Adam Koresh because a first round TKO is pretty impressive to me. Let's see what our celebrity panel thought about that performance. Julie Stewart Binks. Adam Koresh with a knockout in his U.S. debut. He now has five straight knockouts. Randy, what makes him so clinical? I think the thing that makes Adam Koresh so interesting is he's got a very unorthodox style. His footwork, the way he sets up, he changes leads, the way he kicks. It's, it's very interesting. It comes from a lot of places that most guys are not going to be used to seeing it come from there, and that's going to make him dangerous. Lolo, such a dominant finish from Adam Koresh. What did you like about his performance in the cage tonight? Adam Koresh is such a patient fighter. I felt like I was watching a tiger waiting for his prey in the jungle. He is just so accurate. He knew the exact moment to just pounce. He embottles the phrase that says, work smarter, not harder. He crushed it. And on that note about working smarter, Vitor, you were very impressed with his mental acuity. Adam Karash, what I'm telling you, you remind me so much of a warrior from Israel called Benaya, when he slayed this lion on the snowing day. And you just took your time, and I saw rhythm. I understand that you are martial artist, and you see things different. Your approach is different. I, I like so much your style. And I think you have a bright future, my friend, bright future. All the best for you in your camp. Congratulations. Two exciting fights, Sean. We have two more to go. All right, Ad Adam, they were impressed. What do you think of their reaction? Yeah, first, uh, thank you, Mr. Belfort and Mr. Mr. Couture. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to say one more, uh, one more thing, please. Uh, I'm very thankful for the PFL uh, stuff. You treat me like uh, no one uh, treat us, the fighters. So thank you. Thank you very much to the PFL staff. You're welcome. Adam Koresh.
first round TKO.